Hello and welcome back! This week we'll be finishing off our rig by doing the painting of the skin waves. So let's get this started. Okay, so let's start skinning our character. Uh, let's go to skin, paint skin weights tool, this tool over here. First things first, he by default he picks interactive as normalized weights mode. I prefer to work with post, so I'm gonna change this, press yes. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna select half of the character. the vert is selected, I'm going to the paint skin weights and I want to remove all the left parts or right part in this case just looking forward to the right part of the character from the left so I'm gonna go into replace vel of zero I'm gonna start removing things replacing with zero so nothing of the left side is gonna to touch right side so left shoulder left arm and I'll do the same thing for the other side just to make sure that not none of the parts controlling the other even if it may not be already okay. let's go to the right, right leg and the right arm Okay, so let's see how this leg is moving. Let's go out of isolation mode. Okay, the leg itself is not so bad. Let's just change it a little bit. We don't want this bottom part to be controlled by the top, the top joint. So let's select the vertices and remove them from the upper leg. Give them to the bottom leg. Now this upper part, it should be controlling more this section here. So I'm gonna select this with the control right click pick two vertices and paint it here okay now over here we need to share this vertex here between the two and this one too so it can actually keep a little bit more of the volume there so I'm using this hammer weight weight hammer tool here actually might want to do the same thing for this one here in the top leg add some control to it maybe not all that much control okay so now I'm getting a better knee there One thing I don't like is what's happening all the way up there. It shouldn't be affecting this part that much. So I'm gonna select this here. You see the left leg is actually controlling that part, I don't want that. So I'm gonna remove that. Okay. That's better. Let's see how our foot roll is looking. To pivot. I'm doing this by selecting the toe pivot name here and middle mouse clicking on the viewport. Let's see, heel lift. Okay, this is wrong. You see how this bone is straight, but the 
top front of the foot is bending forward. We do not want that to happen. So let's select these two vertex and let's find over here toe base should be controlling this 100%. Left foot should not be controlling this at all. Okay, so that's more like it. Maybe this one, maybe this vertex here and this one here, maybe they should be controlled. Let's test that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So the front part, it stays put. The other part actually goes. Yeah, that's better. So ankle, ankle pivot. Toe lift. Maybe I'm giving too much control from the toe over this too. Maybe I should remove a little bit of the control. Left toe base, yeah. More like that, okay? Alright, so let's put our values over here back to zero. This looks good. Okay, let's take a look at the arms. Like this over here. Okay, so the arm right now is controlling way, way too much. This is the clavicle controller. And it's controlling way too much. So we need to fix that. Right now, it's controlling even the face. So to change that, uh, first off, I'm gonna unselect this here so I can't actually select my joints. I don't want that. I also don't want to select the, the curves right now. Just don't select the polygons. So I'm gonna select all the polygons on the head. Yeah. I'm gonna convert the selection to vertex. Let's find the head, give all the control to the head, none of the control to the neck, and now let's find the spine controls and tell them not to control this either. Basically fluting zero everywhere on the head because I don't want the head to be controlled by those. So the hands, the neck, shoulder, okay, so now only the head controller should be controlling the head. Let's try now the clavicle. Great. Clavicle is no longer controlling the head. It is, however, controlling a little bit too much down here. So I'm going to select those vertex here. Maybe, yeah, those are all just to remove a little bit of the control. But these ones I don't want to control at all. So this left shoulder, no control over here. Over here I want a little bit less control. So I'm gonna take down my pass and just remove a little bit of the control there. Okay. Let's try this now. Yeah, don't have enough geometry over there to actually keep everything. Okay, it's close enough. It's close enough what I have. I'm just gonna add this over here a little bit more to the spine. Yeah, the spine is not controlling it enough. So maybe that will help keep the controllers in place. I'm gonna give this to the next spine. Let's try this now. Yeah, it's keeping way better the volume there. 
Okay. Now for the arm. The arm is controlling a little bit too much down there. I'm gonna pick some vertex over here. Down here and just remove from the control of the arm. That's too much for the arm to control. Okay. So all of those will come out the left arm. Yeah, that's, that's way better. Let's check this over here. I did some wrong things on this rig. Like the local axis. I should have used groups outside. Better control this. And keep my local axis right. Okay, let's check this. Maybe the forearm should be controlling this less. Left arm should be controlling this more. Just like I did on the leg. Let's pick some of this. I want the left arm to control of this. Oops, that's way, 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 way too much. Okay, yeah. Now this area here, I don't want the upper part of the arm to have control of. So let's take this out. Okay. Maybe this part over here. Might want to have a little bit of control over here. Okay, that's nice. Let's check this here. Okay, so these have way, way too much control over here. Let's fix that. This control should be on the forearm. Okay. And left hand should not have it. Okay, yeah, that's better. Now the hand controls the hand and leaves the forearm alone. Now let's check the thumb roll. That's actually not bad. That's not bad. Meet and roll. It works. Meet and roll too. Yeah, I can... I can work with this. This could be holding a, a weapon. A sword. Yeah, I'm gonna consider this good enough for me. But if you have to fix it, you can fix it the same way we did the others. By selecting an edge, removing from the previous one, adding to another one. Okay. So I think our character is pretty much painted now. I'm probably gonna release another tutorial on doing the proper, proper controls with the right uh, local axis something I missed in the previous tutorial but yeah our character is now rigged and ready to rock we're gonna do the animation tutorials next next week oh yeah one, one important thing I forgot we only painted one side so we want to click the skin mirror skin weights and mirror to the other side in this case my positive is in plus axis plus x, so I want to mirror positive to negative, okay, 
So now all the changes I made to one side should now be in value for the other side. And they look like they are. Let's check also the feet. Yeah, that's right. So now our character is rigged. That's it for this week and thanks for watching.